Alright, so now I'm going to add handles to my mugs. These are the, the round dotty mugs. I have trimmed them, added dots, and let them dry out for a little while, and they're ready for handles. So, I'm getting this clay wedged up. Clay wedged up. Okay, and then I'm just going to start getting some lugs ready for pulling. I'll just do one here. And what I'm going to do is just roll it out on the table. Pound it a little bit, get it in general shape, and tap the end. And I gotta find a good spot on this mug to put a to put a handle. So if there's any flaw that I want to hide or anything like that. I would put it there, and I don't really see anything, so I'm just going to pick this random spot here. And I'm going to start by scoring that area with my needle tool. I want to make my scoring area a little bit wider than the area surface on the end of my handle. And then I'm going to do it at the bottom where I'm going to touch the bottom of the handle. And add a little bit of slip. I've got a old mug here filled with slip and a little paintbrush. And I just dab on a little bit of slip. I know a lot of potters don't even score and slip, but I just prefer to do it. I've had a lot more luck that way with getting handles to stick while I'm pulling them. And I'm going to score the end of my handle. And attach it to where I scored and slipped. So put that on there and just kind of wiggle it while pressing on the back side here so I don't deform the rim. And press it in on the top and bottom and on the sides. Okay, now I've got that pretty well attached. Pull this over and dip it in the water. It's just my water bucket and start pulling the handle front and back with between my thumb and forefinger pointer finger, keeping it wet and on the front and the back and rotating every few pulls so that I don't end up with a crooked curved handle. Rotating it from front to back keeps it straight. And I want to end up with a taper thicker up here. I want it to be thicker up here and taper down to thinner down here. Okay, that's about it right there. And then the top part, I'll just put my thumb in there to make an indention, making sure this bottom part is nice and smooth and round so it's comfortable to hold. And I'm going to dry off my hand a little bit and attach to the bottom. my hand inside for support and then press the bottom of that handle on there and smooth it out. And then I use this tool, <coughs> that back out of the way, 
use this tool, my favorite tool for handles, for a lot of things. Um, I just make a nice line around the handle to keep it attached. And then I'll grab a sponge and I'll start to put the water and squeeze it out and then I'll just kind of smooth off the handle where it's all mucky. Clean it up a little bit. Okay. And then check the uh, shape of the handle. Make sure it looks like good shape and it does. Then I'm going to check the, uh, the roundness of my rim. It kind of got deformed because my mug is a little bit on the soft side. I could wait another few hours to do this, but I didn't. <laughs> <coughs> Then I like to take one of these little handmade stamps. This one. It's in the design of a little flower. And I just press it in here at the bottom of the handle. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a thumb grip at the top of the handle. In good shape. There we go. Pinch off a little bit of clay <coughs> and roll it into a little tapered form and press it on my texture. Put a little bit of scoring at the top of the handle and then just Press it on here. Support underneath, press on top. And that's it. The handle's ready. Thanks for watching.